Angela Loria from the Author Incubator. Welcome to Ask a Best-Selling Author. This month's featured author is Sharon Pope. Sharon is the author of the Soulful Truth Telling series, and we're going to do a little bit of soulful truth telling right now. Um, I'm going to be honest, I've been in the publishing industry for 22 years, mm -hmm. and I know there are many aspects of the publishing industry that are a little bit shady. There's some snake oil salesmen, there's people who uh, sell you things and don't deliver, mm -hmm. and writing a book is a dream for people, and so it's very easy for publishers and people in this industry to take advantage of mm -hmm. people's dreams and exploit them. I think it's like mm -hmm. selling property to old people in Florida or something. Mm -hmm. And so I know that people probably have this question about me, how do I know I can trust her? I'm gonna ask you, how do you think people should make a decision? How do you know who to trust? How did you know you could trust me when you made the decision to work with us? So when you and I got on the phone together, um, before I ever started writing the first book in the Soulful Truth Telling series, we were on the phone for an hour, and I remember I hung up the phone and I thought to myself, you know what, I've just learned more about publishing in that hour than I had the entire last two and a half years trying to figure out how to And you had already published publish. a book. Absolutely. So it's pretty funny you would learn more about publishing in an hour when Absolutely. you were a published author. So I tend to gravitate towards people who can teach me something. Like if I can really learn something from you, then, then that's my person. That's who I know that I can trust. And so that's sort of my gut barometer. So if I were... Shady, if I was just trying to steal your money and yes. not get you a book. <laughs> how do you think you would have known? Let's say I said some smart things. Um, how do you know? How do you, wh when you say, you know, check in, what does that mean for you? How do you think you would have known? You know, it, we could sit here and say, like, you could look at the facts. You could look at how many people you've gotten to bestseller stuff. Like, oh, did you? Did you call a bunch of references on uh, me? No. Did you look at my website? No. Did you ask me my credentials? No. Oh. No. Uh oh. Did you get <laughs> none of it? I just was like, this woman can teach me something. She can take me where I need to go. Done. And I signed up into your most expensive program. You're the only person that. who's like gone straight right. into the and year. And even long. though we were on Facebook, it's not like we knew each other. Didn't we meet in person though once? We met once. Yeah. Yeah. But it was like, okay, call me when you're ready to publish another book. It wasn't even like an interaction of get to know you. Like, mm -hmm. so we didn't know each other. Right. So, and I was thinking I was going to like call a couple of publishers. I was going to do some interviews and then I spoke with you and I, so that check-in was just that. Um, so this is what I call this, the, oh yeah, mm. that. When I get that feeling, like, oh, look, I get chills on my own. Like when I get that feeling, I just follow that instinct. If there's ever any like, well, I don't know, I need to check references. Something's yeah. wrong. Like, Something's wrong. Like, okay. Exactly. Abortion. And, and if somebody <laughs> says to me they want to check my work, obviously if they know one of our authors and, yeah. and you have a friend or something, it's one thing. Um, but when people start asking me questions about references, I'm like, this isn't a fit for you. And I don't take that personally. Yeah. Like I think yeah. the people I'm supposed to work with and I'm going to make the biggest in mm -hmm. impact with are going to have that like, oh yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing right, right. now. And right. if you don't like honor that, mm -hmm. is that what I would say? Right. If there's red flags and crazy stuff going on, look, okay. It's probably not a fit. Honor that as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah, I think your own intuition and that feeling in the pit of your stomach, that feeling of connectedness, mm -hmm. that is exactly what's going to tell you whether you can trust somebody or not. There's no amount. If you want to look for evidence something will work or won't work. You'll find it. You can always find mm -hmm. that. So um, if, you, uh, if you have had times in your life where you've made a hell yes decision mm -hmm. and it was a great fit for you or if you've had times when you haven't listened mm -hmm. to that inner voice that inner wisdom about who you're supposed to work with put that in the comments below please like and share this video so we can make a bigger difference one book at a time